So the EPA has now told us that 70% of our water supply does not actually comply with the Safe Water Drinking Act, 70%, and that it is vulnerable to cyber attacks, 70%. Going to get into that in a moment. Then we're also going to get into the fact that over 1.9 million bottles of Fiji water has been recalled. Yes, Fiji water, which is supposed to be water from a natural spring, right? Which is supposed to be pure artesian water, right? Has been recalled for having a bacteria in it and then also manganese, but literally three different types of bacteria they found. And they only found it because someone reported discoloration, a.k.a. someone likely had a bottle that looked brown. Like, hey, why is my water not clear? Because what other discoloration were they going to have in the water that made them report it? But what's crazier is that in here, see if you guys can see, I'm going to make this bigger because before we even begin, I want you to see. It says food recalls are on the rise. And that's a good thing. They are telling us in the mainstream media, in the news, it's a good thing that our food is being recalled. If you believe that, I, let's, let's talk. Let's talk about it. I'll get back to you in a moment. <laughs> Hi, everyone, and welcome back to your reality check with Jess. Thank you so much for joining me. If this is your first time here, please make sure that you like and subscribe and hit that bell so that you can get my notifications. And if you're a returning viewer, hi, guys. So let's start off with, with the Fiji water one, and then we'll go into this EPA mess on how our whole, you know, drinking water supply is a hot mess. 70%, 70% is out of compliance. But again, let's get to this Fiji water one. I thought this was wild. It says E. coli, metal, and even a dead bat have been found in recalled food. In fact, food recalls are increasing, yet that might actually be a good sign. Here's why. Now, I'm sure they're going to say, well, because that means that, you know, they're looking more into things and they're testing more. No. No. This is Reality Check with Jess. We don't just repeat press releases and news articles. We use our thinking caps on and critical thinking skills, okay, and our analytical mind. Food recalls are never a good thing. What is a good thing is to stop that from getting out to the public first. Catching it after is not a good thing because you know when they catch it after? They catch it after because someone has reported something. They don't catch it after because they just randomly tested things. Not to mention in my earlier videos that I've made, I think like a year ago or more, I actually talked about how the FDA doesn't actually really do recalls. These are voluntary recalls. You will see that in every article. They actually really don't have that power. Or they don't really use it. So this is really up to the companies to do recalls. So they are policing themselves. Okay. Again. There's no good thing about a food recall. Please, if you were seeing this in the news, please know that, okay? I can't believe they're actually telling people this now. Like, oh, it's great. It's great that there are metal pieces and bacteria and diseases in your food and dead animals. Wonderful. Um, perfect. So this is great because at least we caught it and recalled it. No, no, there should be inspections before it goes out to make sure that that doesn't happen, period. Especially because everything's done in batches. I'm not saying nothing can ever slip. And when I mean nothing ever slips, I don't mean a whole batch, okay? I'm talking about one particular thing. You know, this one thing had something in it. But no, that, that's not what's going on here, all right? There needs to be better testing before things get out to us. So in this one, the Fiji water. So these, particularly what it is, um, talking about right now are bottles that were sold through Amazon. So there may be other things out there. Okay. Now for this particular recall, it's about the bottles that were sold through Amazon. Let me see. Maybe I'll reduce it a little bit more so you can get more in that frame to see more of the article. There we go. Um, so the recall was issued over bacteria and elevated levels of a commonly of a commonly found mineral 
called manganese. Fiji Water Maker says customers can fully be confident of no health or safety risk. That's all well and good. Can be fully confident. All right, well, that doesn't guarantee anything, number one. Obviously, you never can. But in addition to that, that's not what someone's paying for. They're literally paying a premium for pure water. There should be nothing else in there. So the 1.9 million bottles um, equates to about 79,000 cases of the water. Now, they say in the enforcement report, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration said the testing by Fiji water maker uh, Natural Waters of Vitae Limited, that's the name of the company, um, found manganese in addition to three bacterial genera in cases of the water sold between February 1st and March 3rd. Honey, we are in May. We are in May. We're actually at the end of May. And this water was sold between February and March. People drank that water already. And this is why I say no recalls are not a good thing because this is actually what they do. These recalls happen after you already had it, consumed it, it's in your body. And then it's, oops, sorry guys, there may have been some, something in there that wasn't supposed to be. It's absurd. Oh, goodness. So it says they, um, the, FDA the FDA classified the recall of 1.9 million bottles on Thursday as the lowest level of seriousness in which a product is not likely to cause adverse health consequences. I don't care about that PR spin. All right. I don't care about lowest level of seriousness. The fact is stuff was in there that wasn't supposed to be. Stuff was in there in a premium product that's supposed to be pure that you were paying a premium price for, no, it's not okay. It's not okay. And, and that's just, like I said, that stuff is really frustrating. That's the major thing from this. Um, let's say, but they're saying that the affected products were immediately and voluntarily recalled with 99% of affected bottles reclaimed from warehouses and the remainder in warehouses to be returned. I I don't know how much I really believe that. Come on, if these were sold between February and March, and this is now May, you tell me 99%, 99%, give, give me a break. You know what I mean? I, I, I just don't believe that. And let's see, 1.9 million, what's 99%? Because that's still a lot. Let's see. Let's see, what's 1% of that? I'm doing quick calculation. Still 19,000 bottles. That's still 19,000 bottles, even 1% of 1.9 million. That's still 19,000 bottles. Then they're talking about, uh, this is just a quick little blurb, other uh, food recalls that have happened. And this, these are just recent because it's literally like every day they have these things. Cream cheese, uh, white coated candy, had salmonella. The cream cheese had salmonella. Uh, ground beef, E. coli, apple juice arsenic jelly meat you know what i mean wasn't inspected how did it get out so in here it, it tells you know if you uh, had any of these bottles i'm gonna leave this on the screen for a second so you can pause it if you need to um if you had any of these make sure that you call uh call fiji water and uh, get a refund and dispose of the water Oh, good grief. You know what I mean? So let's see, where was it that it said it in here where the person, it was because it was discolored that they actually, no, I guess they didn't put that in this article, but I read that in another one, that the reason why it even got brought to their attention was because it was discolored. So, um, and then here's the next thing. So the EPA is actually, they sent out a press release on May 20th talking about they want to increase enforcement measures to prevent cyber attacks. And I'm going to scroll down because this is what got me that I thought was so wild, right? It said, recent EPA inspections have revealed that the majority of water systems inspected, over 70%, do not fully comply with requirements in the Safe Drinking Water Act. 70%, over 70%, actually, sorry, over 70% do not fully comply. And that some of those systems have critical 
cybersecurity vulnerabilities, such as default passwords that have not been updated and single logins that can be easily compromised. As the EPA and its state and federal security intelligence partners continue to identify vulnerabilities informed by successful cyber attacks to water systems across the United States, the agency remains committed to working with state and sector organization partners to successfully protect drinking water for communities. Did y'all catch that? So they're updating things based on the successful cyber attacks to water systems across the U.S. So this has been going on. And this is what we do in Reality Check with Jess. We read between the lines because this by the EPA, this is, an, this is a news release, okay? This is a news release. EPA press office, this is a press release, okay? They're not going to say something that makes themselves look bad, but you have to read between the lines. So that's a concern. That clearly this has been going on and um, over 70% are literally not in compliance with the Safe Drinking Water Act, which is supposed to help prevent that because of the fact that it impacts our safe drinking water. So yeah, that this was just a quick one. I wanted to go into that. I, I just think that's insane. 70%, 70%. So at any day, any time, we don't know what'll happen with our water supply across this country. Um, and that's very scary because don't forget, even if you're like, well, I don't drink tap, you know, I filter my water. Well, there could be other things in there that that filter is not going to get out. Number one. Number two is you still use the water to rinse your, your fruits, your vegetables. It's used to, you know, water the plants, the things that you grow. It's used to feed the animals that you eat. So this does impact everyone. But yeah, guys, I mean, it's like another day, another recall, another thing of just American citizens not being protected, told something after the fact with an oops, and then being told, oh, but you should be fine. You know, it's just not okay. It's not okay. So let me know your thoughts on this. Have you drank any of this Fiji water? I actually used to like Fiji water. Um, I, I thought it was delicious. It was actually my favorite water at one point. Now, honey, I can't afford any Fiji water right now. It's too expensive for me. But <laughs> I used to love Fiji water whenever I would have a chance to get a bottle. It felt very refreshing. Um, but look on the back of these bottles too, because a lot of them, they've actually changed their sources. Some of them are now just purified tap. Some are not coming from natural springs and things like that. So look at the bot, look at the back of your water bottles if you do buy bottled water. Also be sure to check out um that video I did a while back too about bottled water on how bottled water may not actually even be better than tap water because of the fact that bottled water has all of these different particles and plastics inside of it that leach into it like literally pieces of plastic in addition to the chemicals from the plastic wild thing. But let me know your thoughts on this, guys, and I will speak to you on the next.